Hey guys, and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> now, uh, let's just jump right into this. Uh, we were, uh, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, uh, that everything was going smoothly, I like so... I working uh, a case alone. Uh, okay, um, so, uh... Just a, just a, just a bunch of files. But, um... Shit, what was I gonna say? Uh, you know what, it, it doesn't matter, so, um... Alright, so... Pigeon Brothers plumbing over here. Technically, Pigeon Sisters, I guess. Hey, what's going on? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Uh, caused the leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC67? WC67. Yeah, we're out of that size. Oh, okay. Must have been the signal. Shut up. Yes, the signals. I loathe you and everything you and your family stand for. No time to talk. You talk. We have to fix bird. this slight leak. Uh, really I'd like to really explore, like to a, explore street. a street. Streets closed until we fix this leak. I can, can I not just go around? Water only goes that way. I could just like walk around if you see what I'm saying. Can I do, Can I do anything, anything to, help? to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously uh, you're burned gonna out. Give the same spiel we could again. use a new one. Yeah, yeah, WC67. A WC67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have WC67. been WC67, yes, yes. yes I'll go get signals. one. I'll find something. Notebook, yeah. Uh, uh, Tron machines. The coroner and sheriff are idiots. That's okay. I, I can work with idiots. They're easy to manipulate. Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes. If they're connected to the reason why I'm here. Huh. Alright. Walk in and fire. Look at it. It's... Yeah, it says. 4468. Safely first savings. Let's go open bank doors. The doors are locked. And nobody's inside. It sign. says... We're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Hmm. Fancy Nancy Flowers is closed. S and D Diner. Um, let's walk to this alley. Oh. See, that's a hand right there, and I can't interact with it. I don't know why. Let's look at this poster. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Uh, let's, uh, open the trash can, see if anything's inside. Oh! Uh. I need to stay focused and- Was I just- Murder? Was I just- Yeah, no goddamn way in hell. No, 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 no. Quitterino. Crap, hold on. Um, stay with me now. Stay with me now. Hold on. Uh, Thimbleweed Park. It's launching. Running. Load game. Here we go. Okay. Can you guys see okay? Is, is everything good? Yeah, no, 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 just a, just no, no, a, just no, 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 I am not going near that alleyway anymore. Nope, nope, fuck you, never going back there. I like Ray better than Reyes. I can't get past that water. Uh, do I need to talk to you guys in order to get the quest line? Crap, all right. Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah, speed it up, shut up. We have up. to fix this... Slightly? Yes, I know. WC67. Anything can I, I can do, do to help? Yada yada. All right. Well, so. the Hydrotron's tube is obviously I was just murdered out. again. We could use a new one. I guess not a WC67? again. But someone yeah, was murdered for the size. second time. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. 
I... I was just murdered. So that means that uh, if I start to like investigate places I'm not supposed to be, I get murdered. That's comforting to know. At least it auto-saves consistently, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's take a look. Looks awful. Not like the New York uh, dogs I'm used to. Alright, uh, let's talk to Sandy. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. <laughs> oh, so, boy. What can I do for you, honey? Um... What's up with the sheriff? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weirdo Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. Uh... Coroner and the sheriff are the, the same The coroner person. and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's Everyone about it. Everyone in this town the is The sheriff a does this moron. annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove, How does the speech same prove they are not the like, same person? The hell? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. Oh. I'm a federal agent. Oh, that's my job. Shit. I've said too much already. They know. They know. They're not as stupid as I thought, I guess. Uh, why are most of the stores abandoned? What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory oh, burnt down, boy. the town is drying up faster than Dave's <laughs> sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? Federal I'm a federal agent. agent. Know, know anything the about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Yeah, shut up, Dave. This is... Wait a minute, this is the S&D Diner, so it's Sandy and Dave Diner, I guess, so... Yeah, th th this is with me and Sandy. You can just go keep on putting out your fires so... Don't Dave screw Dave. with the feds. Tell us what you know. <sighs> okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. Spirit. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Yes. Never takes his makeup off. That He's got serial killer written all over him. Ooh, boy. It all happened about a nine lead. or ten years ago. Oh, we're getting a cutscene flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about uh, ready to go on stage okay. and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I what? really got Johnny Good, that little jackwad. <laughs> it's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better oh, get ready boy. to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. <laughs> I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Absolute legend. Put on my clown nose, get my beeping joke back, book back. Get my clown fro looking beeping great. Find my beeping awesome clown makeup. Go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. Ransom the clown, or ransom the jerk, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, he's going to meet his unfortunate end some way. He's in this freaking trailer. Hold on, uh, let me pick up that clown nose. Uh, use the clown nose. All right. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. <laughs> uh. I get it, you never take your makeup off. Ah, jokes! Walk the lumpy poster. Look at My me. circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, Wait, face. What is this corner being torn down? It came off the wall. Hey! A secret safe. 
Let's open the safe. Let's see if I can remember this oh. combination. You don't know the combination? Um. Hey. Okay now. Five. Finally. Eleven. I don't remember the Damn. combination. Um. Okay, so. Okay. Um. Walk to my faucet. Yeah, look at my faucet. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. Alright, so. Walk to no. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until whoa. I get paid. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're holding my stuff hostage. Uh, I mean, I guess it is my fault. I mean, $1,000? It's an IOU. Jeez. Ransom well, the clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Joe have Barney $1, Joe, to and I will hold his joke book hostage. What the Joe. hell is this? Hmm. This the number of letters in the bottom left word oh, wait, of the big what, top what the sign. Is this? The number of stars over my makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Wait, what? Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of stars over my makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Wait a minute, that's... Oh, that's a combination. It's three digits. Uh, let me open the refrigerator and open the microwave. I guess there's not. It's already there. open. I guess there's not really anything here. I guess I'll just leave. Ransom. Hey. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. Whoa, whoa. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. What? Also, we have a deal worth millions? millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! I thought he was being, like, mean and a jerk in general. He's actually rich? Well, um, okay. Um, let's talk to the mime. You! Talk well, to you. I, are you just walk to exit? I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Really? All right. Um, okay. Walk to backstage. Uh, two stars above this. Uh, I, that, that's what I need to know. Um, clown hat. Pick up the clown hat. I don't wear hats. Okay. Hair gel, I guess. Uh, Ooh, my go. clown fro looks great now. Goddamn makeup. Now there's the face I love. All right, there we go. Swear jar. I'll just take the wait, big wait, bucks. Wait, wait, what? Hold it's on. my empty ransom the clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. Huh? See it. It's exactly a hundred and thirty-eight bucks in unmarked bills. One hundred thirty-eight dollars? Jeez, that's a lot. People must really hate who you are as a human being. Not saying that I don't blame them. Well, let's head over to the midway and talk. Yeah, we I assume you're driving. Carney Joe. <clears throat> yeah, shoot the pussy cat. <laughs> Just shoot like a man or a little girl. All right, talk to Curry, Joe. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? <laughs> 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. I have 138. This serves you right for playing the duckies. 
Oh, it was a gamble. I need my joke book. The I need crowd's my joke book. For me. The yeah. crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, one hundred thirty-eight dollars in interest. You're just pulling these numbers out of your ass, huh? Kind of I have a show to do. Hundred thirty-eight bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. All right. Uh. So how are the old ball and so, chain and kids? Uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 11 kids. Oh, but they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. <laughs> you out of here. <laughs> Shoot the pussycat, is it right if you have 11 kids? Shoot the bunny! Oh, <laughs> I could make so many jokes, and I am tempted to make all the jokes, but I'm going to show moderate restraint. To do list, uh, yeah, a thousand bucks, uh, or a thousand bucks more information about my safe combination. So the bleep out of those idiots. Wait, hold on. Uh, so it was. Bottom left word, I believe. Yeah, brothers. B. So that's eight. Hold on, let me. Hmm. The number of letters in the bottom so left eight. word of the big top sign. The number of stars over eight, my makeup two. mirror. The number of kids that 11. Carney Joe has. So it's eight to eleven. So let's see if I can remember this combination. Eight. Okay now. Two. And finally. Eleven. So I got really close. I did eight top. five eleven. Yeah. Ah. Money. Next time I'm setting this. it to one, two, three. Not the best idea. Uh. It's money. exactly eleven hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Hey, what the one hundred thirty-eight dollars? That's the perfect amount. I can't open that. Shut up. Walk to Midway. Wait, hold on. Go on. Uh, get my joke book back. All right, talk to Lots Carney Joe. Lots of prizes. Hey, guaranteed to hit. All you right, got uh, my money, ransom the ass white clown. Yeah, uh. Here, $1,000 plus interest. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. <laughs> yeah, well, not much choice. Now, where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. All so right. how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now, scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. I mean, we got. You prizes. do look like you want to tell someone that we all float down here, Georgie, or whatever the line. Is. All right, I, I give up. Whatever, let's just go. Hey. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom, the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own. Fault for not being able to take a joke. All right, you're all a bunch of you're all a bunch freaks. of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech <laughs> patterns, the same ugly face. Oh, if the hell! Ain't just one weirdo. Somebody definitely their sister. It looks like the hotel man. The, oh god, that, that's a voice crack. Uh, the hotel manager also is, uh, 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 yeah, the hotel manager might also be the coroner and the sheriff. Uh, the nickel you news. You read the rag, the nickel news? I'd use it as toilet paper, but I'm not sure it could fit any more on its pages. <laughs> Probably make it a more interesting read, though. Impressive. Uh, Hey, uh, yeah, lady with the huge nose. Hey, you, lady right with the huge there. nose. 
I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money oh, for a rhinoplasty. Oh, shit. I feel bad. Oh, I don't want to insult a disabled person, but I know I have to. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. He is. A uh, stupid hey, you, mustache dude man. with a stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? <laughs> a 70s porn star call. <laughs> he wants his mustache back. Impressive. Uh, kid with hey, the ugly you, shirt. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? <laughs> like Your Waldo. shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a <laughs> clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. And now... Hey, you hey, ugly you, old lady, ugly old lady with a hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster <laughs> by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. Oh, I boy. curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. <laughs> Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. <laughs> but after the true. show, in That's his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. All right. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! <laughs> All right. I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. <laughs> Your mistress is named Cindy. Wait a minute. In order to have a mistress, what the? you technically first have to have a wife, don't you? This makeup isn't here, coming you? off. Let's no. their gold digger. Uh, yep. He can't remove his yeah, makeup. Yeah, old lady. There we go. You up the? You. Oh Come boy. On. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. Well, I mean, he got to when see she one mistress. You, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old. It's lady. simple. All you have to do is just cut off all your skin. Ransom, I've got some bad news. Oh boy. What do you want, you bald, greedy little. Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to oh land. Oh boy. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire <laughs> in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. <laughs> the toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. <laughs> and go beep yourself. Absolute legend. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. So now I guess I just have to uh, talk to Ransom. But I mean... I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. That was, uh... That was a bit of stuff, uh, what the hell is that? A speck of dust? A speck of dust. It's my speck of dust. Alright, I guess you can have a fucking speck of dust if you want one. But, uh, I guess, guys, that's the end of this episode. Uh, we actually got through a lot. Uh, we, uh, we got to meet, uh, or we played through Rants of the Clowns, uh, mini story, so... I guess we'll try to talk to him uh, tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow, but in the next episode. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>